Thank you. Ready for play. Deciding it's time to uh, chance their arm here. Great return of serve winner from Korea. Placement and plenty of power from Sampras on that serve. again and you'll see that uh, Korea just wasn't quite in position to make the shot game San Francisco. <laughs> the second serve is ace to hold serve from love 30 down I've got to say. So four all career serves. without a singles title win in 1994. Although we got to two finals, runner-up in Nice and in Lyon. Finals at the French Open last year and at the Lipton Player Championships for Korea and has opened up 1995 with a big start by winning the Australian Hardcourt Championship two weeks ago in Adelaide. But this is the one that counts. And there are the familiar craggy features of the legendary Ken Rosewall. One of the all-time greats of Australian tennis, of world tennis.
just out. My G. Courier was really stretched on a couple of those backhands. And Sampras just kept forcing him wider and wider. And that didn't miss by very much. the sort of tennis that he's made his trademark. Sampras really besting him in that encounter. Deuce. No break of serve thus far. Jim Courier leads Pete Sampras by five games to four. Courier leads by two. Most unassuming man, Pete Sampras, until he steps onto the tennis court. Sampras a little off balance and has to get those returns back right at his feet as he comes in. <laughs> Again. 40, 50. Just marvellous placement. Plenty of power, but not to what you'd call up with the big guns. 188 kilometres per hour nonetheless. Comfortable service game for Sampras, losing just the one point, five games all. So 
impress the Greek god. Huge support in one of the largest Greek cities in the world, Melbourne, a large Greek-based population. Love that team. Well, not Greek-based, no, Australian-based, but uh, Greek migrant population or descendants thereof. Forcing the error, attacking the net, forcing the error from Sampras. Fifteen thirty. So over anxious to try and put away that off forehand winner. from that position by Sampras. Lost a couple of points at the net, but then he spent a fair bit of time there already, Sampras. Great rally. And Sampras committing himself to the net behind a shot that was not quite good enough 40, 30. to put Courier on the back foot. by six games to five. Courier leads six games to five. Pick Sampras versus Jim Courier. American clash. The winner to go through to the semi finals. Big Sampras won ten singles titles in nineteen ninety four. Australian Open, Japan Open, Italian Open, Wimbledon among them. Oh. 
15 on him. going to be difficult for Kui to recover after making all that ground to the net. All and we're into a first set tiebreak. Six games on tiebreak. Well, that's been touch and go all the way. There has not been a break point against either player. Yep. We believe Sam Prass, in fact, has not been taken to deuce in any of his service games. Courier has on two occasions. Who's going to serve the better in the tiebreak? That's what's going to tell the difference. from Sampras forcing the return high and setting up the backhand volley ten points one at the net for Sampras zero points one at the net by Courier but that's what we'd expect about that race here to a test of stamina. been that slight question over the stamina of Pete Sampras Maybe because of the injury problems that he suffered but there's no denying he's uh, come back from two sets to love down in his previous match here at these championships
Oh, yes. Wonderful passing shot by Courier. The points continue to go with the server. 3 2 Courier. Here comes Sampras. And he had to come up with a good one, Courier. Not easy, particularly when the flight of the ball had been deflected, affected by a net cord. Tenace. Three on. If it comes to endurance, there's no questioning. Jim Courier on that score. We've seen him perform some remarkable feats of endurance in matches here at these championships and others. But you always ask yourself how much longer he can go on with that uh, heavy hitting and covering that much ground. Nobody's ever seen him wilt yet. Wears his opponents down. Another serve to come from Sampras following the change of ends. Interesting. Korea holds these next two points on serve. It gives him three set points. Venturing to the net. Winning the point. Five three period. Good. Overruled by the umpire on the far line. Sampras says, how can you do that? It is the furthest line from the umpire. And Sampras is going to go and ask him that question. It's maybe cost him the set, he says. An overrule to give... Jim Courier, three set points, and Sampras says, how can you overrule that? Let's see it again. Ball. Well, I don't know. I... It was a, uh, a gutsy call by the umpire, but I think it was probably the right call. But a tough one to overrule on. There's no doubt about that. Set point. set point but now Six, three, three. it is jump the gun there Serving saves one. Six and four. Mentally, a very tough situation for Pete Sampras. Vehemently disputing the umpire's decision to overrule on that line call, having put himself in that point down position by serving a double fault. And now facing a big task. Still two set points down, second serve. And 
Korea's got the first set. Quick off the mark as Korea is. That net court sitting up just got there, but not in time to have any real control over the shot. Winners from the back of the court, that's the courier specialty. So play again. You might have noticed a few people looking skyward there. This, uh, if you haven't heard it, notice the noise. There's a light aircraft buzzing the stadium in the darkness. The darkness outside, that is. Bright lights and the bright lights are flashing under the name of Jim Courier. Up a set 30, 40. against Pete Sampras. And a great point against the world number one here in the opening game of the second set. What a start this would be for Courier. The former world number one now ranked number 11. the first break point of the match so far. Went through the first 12 games without uh, a service break or a break point. Sampras being out hit from the back of the court. From the reverse angle, this is how Sampras saw it. Left standing by the big forehand winner from Korea.
Oh, that's brilliant. Courier thinks he can hit him from the back of the court. So can Sampras. Well behind the baseline when he took this forehand cross court. Beautifully angled. <laughs> Another overrule from Steve Ulrich. There was no call from the linesman there. Sampras thought he had the ace. Let's see this from our low angle camera. But the fault call was right. I mean, uh, Ulrich got it right. Second serve. Right or wrong, though, these overrules can rattle a player, even a player of the experience of Pete Sampras. Game Sampras. Finishes off with an ace to hold serve, opening game, second set. First game, second set. is the time for Jim Courier to press Thank home you. the advantage. A set in hand. A difficult uh, shot for Sampras. Just finding the highest part of the net. Sampras is looking for another cross court from Courier there. And he goes the off forehand, looking for it cross court backhand that time, and Courier instead going down the line. Thirty fifteen. <laughs> Sampras asking uh, the umpire, "Why don't you overrule that?" Forehand for Jim Courier. Forehand winners. Courier has hit nine. Sampras just three. Game Courier. And a service ace to finish off. And one game all. One game all. Four aces to Courier, who's serving 70% of first serves in at the moment to just 54% by Sampras. So there's an aspect of the game that Sampras is going to need to improve quite markedly.
Ah, Courier deserves a medal. And the crowd erupt in applause for that. That's just splendid athleticism from Jim Courier. I mean, really, look at this man move. And still able to uh, play the shot for and recover for the next uh, for the next one. Well, I'm afraid Jim didn't see which way that forehand went. Perfectly timed. Yes. <laughs> Courier taking the words out of my mouth. Time to try that uh, top spin lob. And it certainly was. Sampras camped on the net and the whole of the backcourt open. One game all in deuce in the second set. First set to Sampras. Two were uh, Korea. 7 6 in the tiebreak. The tiebreak score, seven points to four. Yeah, advantage Sampras. Sampras holds serve. 2 1 second set. Sampras leads two games to one. There will be an injury timeout. Now, here's an interesting development because Sampras has called for an injury timeout. And you can see the ankle is heavily strapped. There's also some padding under the ball of the right foot. He's got a burst blister. Looks to be just beneath the, the big toe of 
the ball of the right foot. Delana Mulcahy. Sometimes his girlfriend. So, this is a new facet to this intriguing battle between the world number one, Pete Sampras. Thank you. And number one seed, the defending champion. Jim Courier. Courier leading one set to love. First set tiebreak going to him. Quite please. Game score. 2-1 in favor of Sampras in this set. Fifteen line. Well, Courier calling out in the middle of the point that the ball was out, two inches out. And umpire Steve Ulrich is awarding that point to Pete Sampras on the grounds that uh, Courier caused a hindrance by calling out during the point. But it's not his job to call, it's the linesman's job to call, the umpire's job to overrule if he sees fit. And not for Jim Courier to call in the middle of the point. And on the grounds that that hindered Pete Sampras, the point to Sampras, 15 all. I play in this match. It's the first double fault for Jim Courier.
Got away with a remarkably short second serve there and at just 128 kilometers an hour, too. Game point for two all. Oh. Well, that was a difficult shot because Courier probably could have made the ground, but there's no way he'd have been able to stop had he continued to run full tilt. I mean, he'd have collided with the net post and the net court judge. Surprised that Sam Press isn't and able to do more on the second serve from Korea. Percentages now read 64%. Once again, as a courtesy, no whistling between serves. Thank you. For Jim Courier, and just 51% for Sampras. It's a worrying statistic for Sampras. 15 left. trying for just too much on the first serve, worried by the returns of Korea. Oh, trying for plenty on that, 190 Ks, and Korea couldn't handle it. He does have good variety on his serve, Sampras, when he's serving well. going to be a winner anyway if it had not clipped the tape 40, it would have been uh, a ripping shot into the corner it's clipped the tape and fortunately for courier it uh, it didn't deflect the ball out of court Games to two, second set. Sam Press ahead, games on serve. Well, 
must say that uh, despite that injury timeout for Pete Sampras a couple of games ago, he shows no sign of feeling. Thank you. That uh, right foot injury problem and blisters. Play by Courier. Forced to come in. See it again. Net cord made the ball just drop very short. Courier at the net had to come up with a volley. Points one at net, 12 to Sampras. Just that one to Courier. Extraordinary how Courier is forcing Sampras to engage in these extended baseline rallies. And as often as not, it's Sampras coming up with the error. We've had a lot of uh, extended rallies. Better benefit of them. Heavy hitting ground strokes keeping Sampras away from the net more than he'd like to be, I think. for revenge here against Sampras. It was Sampras who put him out in the semi-finals of this title last year. And a victory here would carry Courier, or carry the winner either way, through to the semi-finals for 1995. Against Michael Chang, already there. Chang, a three-set winner in his quarter-final match over Andre Medvedev. Love him. 
clever play here by Courier dropping that ball short. Sampras made it in, but Courier camped on the net for the put away. down there for these uh, two players. This match has been in progress for one and a half hours and we're only just midway through the second set. Very mild summer's night in Melbourne. Temperature 20 degrees on the Celsius scale. Two-handed backhand side from Korea. No, Sampras has not hit a backhand winner. Almost impossible to believe. of backhand winners but uh, off the forehand as well. Eleven clean forehand winners for Korea. Yeah, advantage Sampras. That's the sixth ace for Sampras. It wraps up the game for him and no advantage. Sampras, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. Three all. Advantage Sampras. is not Sampras at his top, I've got to say. In deference to uh, Jim Courier, Courier is playing an almighty game and playing well. But if it weren't for this uh, yeah, growing Sampras. tally of aces, that's uh, seventh for Sampras, he'd be in a deal more trouble because the first serve percentage is quite low. Game Sampras. Now that wraps up the game and a lead of 4-3 in the second set for Sampras with his eighth ace. Sampras leads four games to three. Well, this is as close a contest as you could wish to see. There has not been a break of serve. 
19 games played, plus the first set tie break. Not a break of serve. Thank you. Ready for the only break points, in fact, have been in favour of Jim Courier against the server Pete Sampras in the opening game of this second set. It was down two break points, but Courier couldn't break through. Intention to uh, challenge for the top in men's tennis again. Mind you, he's not far off it at number 11 in the world and is more than holding his own here against the world number one. Sampras switching the attack from backhand to forehand, but not switching the direction of the attack. Pretty all. Korea, though, hitting almost two to one forehand winners. Statistic has got to be a major worry for Pete Sampras. He has committed 30, 40, uh, 22, let me get it right, 22 errors off the backhand side and not hit one clean backhand winner in a set and a half of tennis. Four games all. Four games all. The serve percentage is 63% for Courier. Remained pretty steady at around that mark. Sampras, just 52%. And, uh, Thank you. Not improving very markedly. Fifteen 
Again on replay, yeah, I can always miss it just, just a fraction wide. Oh. There have been a few close calls that oh. haven't gone Sam Presser's way or have gone against him. Most of them of which there's been a question mark, have involved him. Just the one that Courier was concerned. Game Sampras. Sampras holding serve. 5-4, second set. Sampras leads five games to three. It's one set to love. Courier serving at 4-5 in the second set. Still no break of serve. Oh, Curry is saying here, there's an out, uh, an out ball on the baseline here. Fortunately for him, Sampras put the reply into the net, but even people in the crowd put up the cry of out. See from the reverse angle, hard to tell because of the uh, visual distortion there. The linesman's on the spot, and he didn't call it. 15. Ah! Game career. Five games all. Five games all. There's not a split inch between these two players. Uh, toss of the coin through the first set. 
15. Just two things that uh, turned it to Courier's favour. Changing racket. At three points all in the first set tie break on Sampras's serve, he served a double fault to give Courier the advantage. Four points to three. And then on a crucial ball in the next point, the umpire overruled the linesman. Costing Sampras another point, and that set it up for Courier to take the set seven points to four in the tie break. Ninth ace, Pete Sampras, and I tell you, they are a statistic in keeping him in this match with Jim Courier. Forty, fifty. I couldn't see through him. Oh, uh, both players are questioning. A few close calls. That's big serving. And that's the game to Sampras, six games to five. Sampras leads six games to five. Three games of tennis. Thank you. Ready without to play. a service break. First set decided by a tie break. Courier, the only player to have break points, two of them in the first game of this second set. That's how close it's been. Fifteen left. Another backhand error for uh, Sampras. And another. Thirty. 
see this again from the reverse angle. Another forehand winner for Korea. And these make very interesting reading, these statistics. He's hit 12 forehand winners, Korea, to just six by Sampras. Six games all, we're into another tie-break. First serve percentages, 61% for Korea, declined just a fraction. Sampras, 54% up just a fraction. There's 12 forehand winners for Korea and 24 forehand errors, so that ratio is not bad. Sampras, 20 forehand errors, just six winners. And that's one another one that he steered wide of the line. There's no doubt about it. He can stand and stare hands on hips as long as he likes. The opening point of this tiebreak goes to Jim Courier. Statistics. Shortly, they're even more worrying for Sampras. That's on the line. better than Jim Courier and lofting that one high into the air three points to zero Point advantage. And two serves to come. Yes. Well, again, Jim Courier displaying just remarkable athleticism. 
And he'll be happy that they're changing ends after this point because he'll need the breather. That is remarkable. Had a ton of backspin on it, that ball from Sampras. Just cutting it over the net, spinning back. And it's a miracle that Courier not only managed to get it there, but make the sharp angled shot cross court and not run into the net. Got a 50% average. That's not bad for him. Well, this puts Courier right in the box seat now with three set points for a lead of two sets to love. From the low angle, flashing return of serve. Two sets to love in favor of Jim Courier. Both sets going to tie breaks. The crowd a little stunned. Seats, please. Thank you. The score 7 6, 7 6, two tie break sets to Jim Courier. There has not Third been seven. a break of serve. Sampras again come from two sets to love down and win. Fifteen love. He's only done it twice in his life, come from that position to win. And the last time was just two days ago when he did it against Magnus Larsen in the fourth round of this title. Sampras has played 25 set matches in his career. He's won 14 and lost only six. Korea has played 15 five set matches. 
one six lost nine but I don't think he's ever lost one after leading two sets to love sets to love up against Boris Becker in the final in Brussels in 1992 and lost it in five sets. Took the first two, seven, six, six, two. Becker came back to win seven, six, seven, six, seven, five. Oh. Game career. And Korea wins the opening game of the third set. Pete Sampras to serve, down two sets to love and one game to love. And checking the records further, I find that uh, Jim Courier twice has been up two sets to love and lost five set matches. The one against Boris Becker in Brussels and on a previous occasion. 15 London. Service ace number 10 to Sampras. On a previous occasion, 1989 French Open Championships round of 16 against Andre Chesnikov as we see a replay of the serve straight down the middle. Korea took the first set to first two sets against Chesnikov at the French. 6-2, 6-3. And then Chesnikov came back to take the next three and win the match. 7-6, 6-2, 7-5. So what does all that mean? He can lose them from two sets to love up. Sampras can win them from two sets to love down. Sampras winning the overwhelming number of points decided at the net in this match. 14 points to three, in fact. Sampras holding serve to love. Percentages 63% for Courier, 55 improving slowly for Sampras. Sampras in just right, the right position here for what under other circumstances we would have expected to be a forehand winner for Courier was a forehand winner for Sampras. to work with.
was a big point for Korea. Because he's not been down break points. And he still hasn't been down a break point. The backhand error, yet another from Sam Press letting him off the hook. This is the first break point against Korea's serve in the match. And Sampras gets the first break of serve in the match here in the early stages of the third set and a lead of two games to one. Sampras leads two games to one. And Korea returns to court with the chant for Sampras Ready ringing in his ears. The defending champion with the first break of serve in the match, although he's down two sets to love. Leading 2 1 in the third set. 15 left. Race number 11. <laughs> well, Sampras seemingly unperturbed by the fact that he's down two sets to love and now with the break in this third set is making every post a winner, his 12th ace, game point. to one Sampras third set. Sampras leads three games to one. Twice in his life he's had to come back from two sets to love down. He did so against Thomas Muster in the first round of the French Open in 1991. 15 long. Service ace for uh, Jim Courier, just his fifth. And Sampras performed the same miracle against. Oh. 
Well, Sampras just losing his footing there. But I think Courier had hit the winner anyway. There he goes. Yeah, it's just uh, missed his footing, but uh, Courier always had the winner. break in this third set is making every post a winner his 12th ace game point for Susan. three games to one Sampras third set Sampras leads three games to one in his life he's had to come back from two sets to love down he did so against Thomas Muster in the first round of the French Open in 1991 15 line service ace for uh, Jim Courier just his fifth and Sampras performed the same miracle against Sampras just losing his footing there. But I think Courier had hit the winner anyway. There he goes. Yeah, it's just uh, missed his footing, but uh, Courier always had the winner. Good reply from Sampras just blocking it back from out of court, dropping into the corner. Yes, yeah, Sampras back from two sets to love down in the previous round here to defeat Magnus Larsen. 4 6 6 7 7 5 6 4 6 4. And game Courier. Game to Courier now, though. But still with a break up, Sampras leading 3 2. For which he's being treated. And after hitting with Sampras on the court last weekend, he became ill in the locker room, and uh, this problem affected his speech. He was hospitalized here Quite in please. Melbourne for a couple of days, but has since decided to return to the United States, leaving twin brother Tom in charge of affairs here. Curious saying, come on, what about uh, an overrule on that? The ball was that far out. Unlike the situation in the first set tie break involving Sampras, there was no overrule this time. Oh, that cord set the shot up for Courier. And he cut loose 15, on the forehand, 30. forcing the error from Sampras. The 
again. Here's the ball popping up, allowing Courier just to dive on it. It's 15.30. Down for a big second serve down the middle, it's an ace. Without these three points, Sampras would be in trouble. He is in trouble anyway, although a break up in this set. Well, Sampras is in a mean mood now, and he would need to be. Another one. And the game. Four games to two, 15 aces. Another forehand winner for Korea. The toll mounting in his favour both on the forehand and the backhand side. And I mentioned the backhand statistics earlier and they make quite, quite a terrifying reading for Pete Sampras. He's made 33 backhand errors. 34 backhand errors and hit just one backhand winner. Sampras to serve, four games to three, third set, but needing to do Quiet, please. more. Eliminating the, uh, the errors would be a start. Play led. Yeah, play led. Now I'm in the uh, electronic uh, line monitoring machine there, sounded even though the second serve was clearly in. Probably because it was being reset. Yeah, 34 backhand errors and just one backhand winner for Sampras is incredible. Well, there's another one. 35 backhand errors to one winner. Courier, at the same time, is hitting about one in six. He's made 25 errors, but he's hit seven winners off the backhand. Service ace number 16. And as I said, these three points certainly are helping to keep him in the fight. The side on view, it's a great shot.
So service aces and points one at net. Uh, the fact is that uh, keeping Sampras in the fight, 16 points, one at net for Sampras, just three for Courier. Mind you, that's what you'd expect. I would venture to say Sampras has been to the net probably about 20 times and won the point 16 of those times. 30 on. Again, Ford. as a courtesy, quiet between good. serves. Thank you. Ila Ford. Upper service break, but under a little pressure here. 30 all. Oh, lovely. Oh, that is lovely because uh, Courier was there. Just a really lovely roll. Cross court dipping sharply as it crossed the net. That's beautiful backhand. Oh. This is break back point for Korea. But Sampras saves it with a backhand winner. Only the second one is hit. doubt that uh, the overwhelming crowd support here is for Sampras and they've really come alive now that he's back in the fight here in the third set. 15 left. Oh. Suddenly, Sam Press senses that uh, he's got to close out this set. He's intent on closing it out here and then giving himself the advantage of serving first in the next set. That's what he wants if he can do it. 15 30. touch from Sampras running hot now and the fans love it 
Two set points for Pete Sampras. Wide lead. Sampras keeps it going. He takes the third set, six games to three. Ready for play. Thank you. Fourth set. Still a big task. Don't, uh, don't be fooled. Two sets to one down, Sampras. Quiet, please. Thirty big serving from uh, Pete. He hasn't got quite to 210 kilometers per hour, but that one was at 189 and very effective. Again, great touch on the world's number one. And the number of backhand winners rises, albeit very slowly. Game sample. First game, fourth set, new balls. Sampras, the world's number one seed at number one, obviously, against Jim Courier. World number 11, seed at number nine. Winner to go through to the semi-finals to play Michael Chang, successful today. Chang Quiet, against please. Andre Medvedev in straight sets. At the bottom half of the draw in this uh, Australian Open Championship quarterfinal match is yet to be played. Aaron Krikstein of the United States will play Jako Elting of the Netherlands and Evgeny Kafelnikov of Russia to meet the number two seed Andre Agassi.
39. Big Sam Prass has been world number one for the past two years. And he assumed that ranking, that position from Jim Courier, who was ranked number one in 1992. Serve to love with another slashing off. forehand winner. On the reverse angle. Really opening the shoulders and cutting loose on that. First serve percentages 65% first serves in for Korea, 53% for Sampras. Sampras going for a racket change. Sampras won $4.8 million in prize money in 1994. Quite pleased. Jim Courier won $1.9 million, and that without winning a title. Sampras is of no doubt. Quite please. And from the replay, it uh, looked to be pretty good, I've got to say. Forty, thirty. Line calls are uh, frustrating, Sampras. one was very close but the call again going against him game center. and Korea going for the narrow angle and missing Sampras holding so two to games to one fourth set the pain of uh, the the burst blister under his foot 
for more freedom of movement. Maybe that's what he feels has been restricting him in this match. One hundred eighty six kilometers per hour. That's a pretty big serve for Jim Courier. Angle bypassing Sampras completely, seventh ace of the match for Korea. Game Korea. That's a love game for Jim Courier. He hasn't Two conceded a point on serve so far in this fourth set. Two games all. pass well, one of the greats of tennis writers Bud Collins Several hundred members of uh, the media here worldwide, radio, press, television, writers, photographers, reporters, commentators, cameramen. This is a big point now, the second serve, 15.30. Ah! Two break points for Korea.
Oh, yes. Winner down the line. Service break, Courier, 3-2. Sampras has been the raging Thank hot favourite to win this White title Rangers. again. Jim Curry has other ideas. total of 40 backhand errors for Sampras and he's hit just four or five winners off that side that's unbelievable Two stunning forehands from Korea to finish off that point. 40, Here comes the first of them, so close to the line, and Sampras not able to recover for that down the line, wasn't even in the shot. Unexpectedly, at this point, and it's break point again for Sam Press. Break back point. And he cannot take advantage of it. That was just a uh, very intemperate. Forehand. Oh. 
and a separate. It's a good serve. Well, that's a wonderful serve to produce on a big point. Ace number eight for Courier to save break point. Perfect placement. serve to lead by four games to two. Courier leads four games to two. Well played by G. It's hard to keep a cool head at this stage, but Korea did just that. 15 on. Replay just undercutting that ball. Sampras very quick was going to make it, but was moving the wrong way. And Korea popped the ball over his head. He's out of it. Goodness gracious me. Oh, that's incredible. Courier has hit the perfect lob that had Sampras in all sorts of trouble. See it again. Looked like he could never possibly recover. He's flicked the backhand and then down the line with the forehand for the winner. Point to Sampras brings a standing ovation. You'd think it was match point. It's 4 all and 40 15 in the fourth set. 
And the man they're cheering for is down two sets to one. But he is the defending champion. Quiet, please. First serve. He said a few red cards on first serve. Sam Brass has got the crowd in agony. Well, there's a smile there now. There wasn't uh, ten minutes ago. Sam Brass leads by five games to four. Thank you. We're ready for play. Korea to serve. 4 5, fourth set. Oh, the backhand starting to work. Not before time for Sam Press. Couldn't have come at a better time. Quiet, please. Love 30. That's in. Sampras looks long and hard. The linesman is unmoved. It was in, there's no doubt. From the reverse angle, the ball dropping right on the line. This is what was working for Curia so well in the early sets. The switch of play, the change up. Set point for Sampras to take it into a fifth set decider. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Pressure was intense on Korea. Second serve. Oh, the agony.
Oh, there was a very close call there in the middle of that point and the crowd erupted asking for an out call whether it was or not is immaterial as it transpires thank you the ball was right on the line it was good and uh, really it's becoming quite disruptive and distracting for the players set point to Sampras again Oh, no! Oh, gosh, he's had the uh, overhead to save the set point and has crueled it completely. Two oh, the crowd has gone mad. Well, this is a thriller, this match. Thank Quite you. a few errors on the part of both players, but a lot of those errors forced on them Quietly. by their opponent. This is one of the great contests. Two sets all. Just a cold forehand winner landing right inside the baseline. Thank you, ball boy. Thank you. Wait, please. Wait, please. Sam Price has been able to muscle his way back into this match. Yep. And Sam Price holds serve in the opening game of the fifth set. First game, final set. I think he's in trouble. I think Sam Price is in trouble. Sampras is in unbelievable amount of pain, I think. And he is in serious trouble. 
He's fought his way back into this match. And I can only presume that it's uh, that he's in pain from this uh, foot injury Time problem. Now. I see the ATP trainer again waiting at courtside. But Sampras in tears. This really is please. a dramatic circumstance here in this quarterfinal match at the Australian Open Championships. Sampras Quite back from easy. two sets to love down to level at two sets all. Holding serve in the opening game of the fifth set and in tears on the changeover. Now whether it's because he's managed to get himself out of this thing and it's tears of relief or whether this injury... That injury is causing him uh, pain. He's got uh, ruptured uh, blisters. First blisters on the ball of his right foot. He's had the strapping and the, uh, the padding removed from it. I think he's in a deal of difficulty. This is an unbelievable effort by Sampras. so far out of court he was almost in the front row of the stand 30 15 Sampras still seems to be moving remarkably well and able to control what's happening on the court but you can just tell from the agony on the man's face Physically or mentally, all is not well with Pete Sampras. Morning, Mr. Courier. Now there's a warning there to Courier. Must have been an audible obscenity, I would imagine. Nothing else appeared to take place. And Sampras still mentally or physically tortured. 40, 30. number nine and this would obviously be making it more difficult for Jim Courier trying to block out whatever the problem is with his opponent to try and remain focused on the match Game himself Courier. and Courier not happy with the One umpire receiving a warning in the course of that game One game all, fifth set. Well, this is this is unbelievable. And I, I whether it's just that it can't possibly be just the tension of the situation. It must be a physical problem that's causing. Sampras this distress and yet despite that he continues to play and con seemingly continues to move Delena Mulcahy 
talking with uh, friends at courtside, including uh, Australian player Renee Stubbs. Well, this is uh, this is just uh, the most dramatic circumstance, or as dramatic a circumstance as I can recall in uh, in any match that I've covered in the last 20 years. We can do this tomorrow, you know? <laughs> Making an inquiry there, asking Santos if he was OK, and then adding that uh, they could do it tomorrow. Well, of course, that's not, uh, that's not possible. And that's the reply from... Uh, Press. He didn't need that kind of needle, whether it was, you know, um, it was unintentional, I believe that, because they are good friends. Maybe he's just trying to uh, lighten the situation a little for Sam Press, but he is in obvious anguish, mental, physical, or both. Two games to one, Sampras in the fifth set. Courier Sampras indicating the ball was long, but the call stands. Now, the, uh, the trainer has again come to the court side. to serve one two fifth set Of course, the bottom line of that uh, last change of ends was that although the ATP trainer came to the chair, no further treatment was administered to Pete Sampras. Words were exchanged, but no treatment administered. Keep in mind the mental state of Pete Sampras going into this match too with regard to his coach Tim Gullickson who's been taken ill and has flown home to the United States for further treatment. Uh, all of those things may be weighing on his mind as well. It's impossible to know. 
40-38. And the remarkable thing is that Sampras is more in the match now than he was early on when we were unaware of any disability at all. Serve to two all. Two games on. First serve percentages 65% for Korea, continuing to improve marginally. Sampras 52% still languishing, pretty much where it has been right through the match. Ginger-footed there, Sampras, as he followed in after that uh, serve. Propped, yes. 21 service aces for the defending champion. in control of the net and uh, regardless of any other considerations still in this match up to his neck another ace One way to uh, save the wear and tear on that right foot, I suppose, <coughs> is not to have to run. Quiet, please. Game Love game for Sampras, 3-2, fifth set. Sampras leads three games to two. And there'll be uh, plenty of mileage for the press photographers out of this match now. It was always going to be a focus Quiet of attention. Please. Thank you. Events of the last hour or two have proved a lot more dramatic than we expected. Just as those last two points were played, the ATP trainer that was at the courtside has left the center court arena in company with the tournament referee, Peter Bellinger. Something has got to give. Fifth set, of course, no tie break. So, uh, if it goes uh, on to be as close as the first two sets, they could be here trading blows for some time yet.
15 right now. Coming up for one o'clock in the morning, shortly before one o'clock in the morning, here in Eastern Australia. The match in progress, three hours and 45 minutes. Oh. Well, that was a beautifully struck backhand by Sam Press. No margin for error whatsoever. Sampras is saving the best till last. Oh. Game Sampras. Four games to three in the fifth. Sampras leads four games to three. Well, Sampras has recovered his Tongue. composure after the early couple of games in this set, in which we saw him reduced tears. His uh, girlfriend, Delana Mulcahy, could be heard calling to him from the stands not to let it get to him, whatever it is that's getting to him. Whether it's the pain of uh, some injury, whether it's the concern for coach Tim Gullickson, or a combination of all those things. Not to mention the pressure of having to come back from two sets to love down. Forced errors are starting to cost Korea now in these latter stages of the match. He's missed quite a few forehands in the last couple of games. Well, Courier had no chance of getting to that. In fact, he'd, uh, 30, whether or not he realized it wasn't going to make 
the net or not, I don't know, but he had made no attempt to move forward off the baseline. It was a close run thing. The ball just popped off the top of the tape and fell back. Yeah, fatigue's becoming a factor here. It was a rather tired-looking forehand from Courier, the sort of shot that he'd have made, was making without difficulty early in the match. Crazy, but this is under the seventh backhand winner that Sampras has hit in the match, but it couldn't have come at a more vital time. Oh, what a point. What a point at this stage of the match. But they can still find the legs and the willpower. Thank you. trying to cut the point short and clutching at his right foot after playing that point. He looks uh, terrible.
Just out. <laughs> that was a close call. Courier elected not to play at it, believing it would be out, but I think it was a lot, lot closer than he anticipated. It's game point to Courier. Thank you. Head. Thank you. It's out. Now, this is break point. The first break point in this fifth set. And it's break point to Sampras. Oh, and he's got the break. Well, this is, this is just almost beyond belief. Certainly almost beyond Jim Courier's belief. He's playing a good friend, and a friend that he knows is in, has been in some difficulty through the match, and yet he's come back from two sets to love down and is serving for the match and a place in the semi-finals. He is the defending champion and is displaying the qualities now that deservedly make him the number one player in the world. Delano Mulcahy counting down every point. That's his 23rd ace in this match. Five, three, 30 love. Three match points for Sampras in the most remarkable comeback. I mean, this will stretch the superlatives of every sports writer in this country, uh, and... He's got it! The crowd have gone absolutely berserk here.